good morning students today i am going to take up the next part of asia and in this i am going to explain to you about the climate of asia and i am going to tell you in detail the several factors which are responsible for determining the climate of asia now the climate of asia is influenced by several factors it includes the large latitudinal and longitudinal extent the central mountain ranges distance from the sea winds and the reversal of winds each of these factors play a very important role in determining the climate of asia so let us take them one by one now the continent's vast east west extent that is from east to west is so large that the interiors of the continents continent is very far away from the influence of the seas and ocean you all must be knowing that the seas and oceans have a moderating influence on the lands which are close by but in asia due to large areas being thousands of kilometers away from the seas and oceans the central part of asia experiences extremes of climate or a continental type of climate now in a continental type of climate the summers are very hot and the winters are intensely cold so temperatures during the summers can so very high and temperatures during the winters can be very very low freezing cold and this happens mainly because of these areas being very very far away from the moderating influence of the seas besides this the mountains in the central and eastern part of asia restrict the influence of the pacific ocean and the indian ocean reaching the interior of the continent so all these mountains are very lofty so the winds which are originating from the pacific ocean or the indian ocean are unable to reach the interiors of the continent on the other hand the cold arctic winds blow unchecked into the center part of the continent during the winters the arctic region becomes very very cold it becomes a region of high pressure and winds begin to radiate out from the arctic or siberian regions and they move unchecked in the central part of asia so several areas in the central part of asia becomes intensely cold moscow beijing places like kazakhstan all these areas experience temperatures well below minus 15 degree centigrade 
so all these areas become very very cold during the winters mainly because of the arctic winds which are cold dry winds which radiate from the north and move towards the south india is lucky in this respect it is lucky because the presence of the himalayas do not allow these cold winds to reach the northern plains so india does not have an intensely cold winter it has got a very cool and pleasant weather during the winters but the central part of asia parts of eastern china are not so fortunate they experience very low temperatures during the winters now the great latitudinal extent of the continent gives rise to climates ranging from equatorial regions in the south and southeast to the tundra region in the tundra type of climate in the north so due to its large latitudinal extent extending from equator to the arctic the continent experiences all types of climate ranging from a very hot and humid climate in the equatorial regions to a very cold and dry climate in the north which is known as the tundra type of climate in the south the rainfall which occurs especially in southern and eastern asia is largely controlled by the monsoon winds and these monsoon winds are caused by the development of high pressure and low pressure due to unequal heating and cooling of the land and water so during the summers the temperatures on the land becomes very very high so an intense low pressure gets developed in the southern and eastern part of asia on the contrary the seas and oceans are having a high pressure because they are cool and winds begin to move from the seas and oceans towards the land since the winds are moving from a water body to the land so they bring a lot of moisture which we get as the monsoon rains when the monsoon season is over and winter begins to approach the continent of asia the land begins to have a low temperature and an intense high pressure begins to develop now during the winters the seas around have developed a low pressure so winds now begin to move from the land towards the sea and this is known as the reversal of the monsoon winds during the summer winds are moving from the sea to land while during the winters the winds are moving from land towards the sea now monsoon comes from an arabic word mausim which means season asia also gets rainfall 
from cyclonic winds. Cyclonic winds are irregular winds of short duration and they are mainly caused by pressure systems such as cyclones and anticyclones. So here in this map, you can see all those areas of Asia which frequently gets affected by cyclones. The eastern and southern part of India, parts of Bangladesh, Myanmar, Philippines, eastern China, southeastern Asia, all are affected very badly practically every year due to the cyclones. Now a cyclone is a strong wind which moves or blows in a spiraling manner towards a low pressure center. So here in this diagram you can see how the winds are moving in a spiraling manner towards a low pressure center. And this low pressure center is known as the, the eye. Here also you can see that the cyclone is moving towards the coastal area of India. And it has got this dark color, which is known as, this point is known as the eye. Cyclones are very, very dangerous because they bring a lot of damage, floods and also very strong winds. A cyclone normally takes its occurrence in a warm sea. So when the sea is warm, the warmth of the sea takes the takes into consideration a huge amount of water and the winds gradually first begins to move around this area of low pressure. With time, they begin to become stronger and take the shape of a cyclone. And then they begin to move along with the winds and strike areas near the coastal region, bringing very heavy rainfall, which can lead to floods, lots of death sucker, and very strong winds and torrential rain occurs whenever a cyclone approaches the land area. Now this is a diagram of an anticyclone. Anticyclones are areas of high pressure centers with winds spiraling away from the center towards the surrounding low pressure. So here we can see, unlike that of a cyclone which had a low pressure center, an anticyclone is having a high pressure center and the pressure is getting less as one moves away from the high pressure center. Here you can see this isobar is having a measurement or determining 1030 MB. The next one becomes lesser, 1028. The outer one becomes still lesser, that is 1026. That means winds are spiraling away from the high pressure center. Anticyclones are always associated with fair weather, clear skies and light winds. They move in a clockwise direction in the northern hemisphere 
and anti clockwise direction in the southern hemisphere this is in contrast to the cyclones the cyclones move in an anti clockwise direction in the northern hemisphere while in a clockwise direction in the southern hemisphere so today we have learned the different factors which affect the climate of asia in the next module i will take up two very important features of climate where i will be explaining to you the winter season and the summer season in the entire continent of asia so that is what we have enough time for today thank you